Good morning. So this video, we're going to talk about a, I'll call it loophole, to where you can put a document through a Adobe Sign workflow. And then let's say you need to modify it in some way. The student calls you or someone calls you and says, actually, can you add this to it? Um, traditionally, you would then have to just go through the whole workflow again. You'd have to send them the form. They'd have to fill the whole thing out again. But there is a way to where you can modify it after it's been signed. And then um, that way, when you put it back through the workflow, it's just to maybe initial somewhere, just something simple versus starting completely from scratch. So I'm going to show you that loophole and how to do that. Uh, first, I'm going to sign into my Adobe Sign account. OK, once we are in, um, of course, uh, typically you would go to Adobe Sign requesting signatures. Um, but I, to save time, let's just say I already put, uh, I sent a form to someone to sign and they signed it. So I'm going to go over here to manage. And then I'm going to go over here to complete it. On this top form here, I'm going to go ahead and click on open. And then here on the right, I'm going to go ahead and click on download PDF. We see it download here. I'm going to click to open it. Now, if you open this up in Adobe Acrobat, you would see you would not be able to modify it, which is the um, consistent complaint that I get. They Let's say the student called and they forgot to add English 10 here. Well, the way to do that here is now, instead of just saving this document, I'm going to right click and select to print. And then for destination, I'm going to save as PDF. That's the trick here. You can then drop it back into Adobe Sign and modify it. Adobe Sign will let us. So I'm going to go ahead and click to save. And then here's where I can rename it and name it however you would feel would make most sense to you. Go back into Adobe Sign here, go back into home. And this time I'm going to send the document. So see right here where it says drag and drop files here. I'm going to drag that PDF that we just made here. So see, there it is. And then make sure you check this box, preview and add signature fields, because I do want to add that um, missing course and also um, have them initial next to it that they acknowledge the change. Go ahead and oh, then I have to put in who it's going to. We're going to send it to my personal account. Click on next. It's going to process it and give us the option for modification. So main point here is a traditional fields are no longer active. This is just for the modification of. So it does say that it does detect form fields here. I can click on this and it would relaunch all of them. But again, this is just to do a modification. So I don't want that. Over here to data fields, and I'm going to just grab a text input right here. And then since we're making a change, I'm going to go up here to signature fields. And then I'm going to just drag an initial field over here, put it where I want it. There we go. So, and then of course in the message, I could provide more instruction as well, but see here, I'm just adding what needs to be modified, asking for the initials. I don't want to save this as a template because this is just a modification. And then I'm going to click on send, send anyway. And then it will tell you it's been successfully sent. And there it is. Review and sign. And see here, it's just the part that needs to be modified. So I could put in English 10 and more info, et cetera. And then right here, um, I click on the signature thing. This, of course, will pop up the signature dialog box. I'm going to type in my initials here. They can either draw them, use an image, mobile, so on, apply. And then there it is. So then once I've done that, it still by default has the signature here at the bottom. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and type it because in my other video, we talk about the different ways you can sign in more detail and then click to sign. So here it will give me the option as a student to download the copy back in. And, and then there we go. I just got notified that it was received. So if I jump back in here into Adobe Sign as my professional Melody Chronister, go over here to manage, completed, then we'll see here we have the second document. So what's nice, of course, with these options is that it keeps both of them. So we have the original document that was before the modification, and then we have the modification. So that way we keep that trail, that audit trail, that history, and we can show the student the different versions as well. 
And so the lesson here, that nugget, is that you can modify a form after it's gone through the workflow if needed to make minor modifications. If you're going to do major modifications, I strongly encourage you just put the form back through the whole workflow, grab it from the template, send the whole thing over again. But for small changes like this, it is possible. I hope this video is helpful. Until next time, catch you later.